It is every farmer's dream to have a good cattle breed with very superior qualities, getting high returns. A good cattle breed depends on the high quality of the semen from quality disease-free bulls, and that's why Kenya Animal Genetic Resources Center, CAGRIC, plays a leading role in improving the productivity and competitiveness of Kenya's livestock products through provision of high-quality genetic material for local and export consumption. As you're aware, um, the government has put in four, big, the, what they call the big four, as an agenda uh, towards achieving uh, food security and nutrition in this country. Uh, food security and nutrition is very key to us as the Ministry of Agriculture and Irrigation. And uh, the government has put in a number of strategies and CAGRIC of course plays a very strategic role. You know it's an old organization uh, which was here 72 years ago and it was for good reason because AI services and breeding of livestock are to be improved in this country. CAGRIC's mandate is to produce preserve and conserve animal genetic materials, that is semen, embryo and tissues, and to rare breeding bulls for provision of high quality disease-free semen to meet the national demand for export. Cagric sits on 358 acres of land with its headquarters in Lower Kabete, 15 kilometers from Nairobi city. The center was started back in 1946 by white settlers a central artificial insemination station CAIS with the name of controlling venereal diseases and to improve genetic of exotic cattle. The white settlers realized they needed to do breeding of the animals and they formed what we call central artificial insemination station which is CAIS. CAIS began through importation of the bulls to start AI services in Kenya with AI you can easily carry semen all over the country without the need of carrying the bull all over the country. In 2011, the government, realizing that uh, they needed to add some other services apart from breeding, through legal notice of uh, 2011, they transformed KAIS to now Kakri Kenya Animal Genetic Resource Center. A board of directors who oversee the center's activities runs CAGRIC management. For the past three years, the board has been able to appoint a substantive CEO through a competitive process, recruit members of staff. It has also guided the institution to partner and have memorandum of understanding with the county governments. So far, CAGRIC has partnered with 23 county governments. Mostly as a board, we give a strategic uh, direction for this organization. And during uh, this tenure, we have been able to, to bring services because of the national government uh, activity. We have uh, achieved, uh, uh, we have brought uh, the, these activities closer to the people by opening about uh, five substations so that uh, farmers could be able to get a uh, 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 semen for air insemination at a very subsidized price. We have also tried to look at how we can uh, go to other species of animals and we have, done, we have done so. We are setting up a goat air station. Uh, we are also looking at a multiplication of uh, chicken. We are collaborating with the uh, cattle so that uh, we, 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 we do indigenous chicken, the day old chick, chicks, broiler chicken. So we are, we, are, we are looking very soon, we are going to, to, to start uh, multiplying chicken. We are also going to look at uh, pig AI. If you look at uh, the pigs we have, uh, what is uh, in the market, and what our farmers are rearing now, those pigs are taking too long to mature. They are taking almost uh, 10 months, 9 months, but we want to uh, have uh, good breeds. We give farmer AI in, uh, in the pigs such that they have breeds which are taking six months to mature and that one will be a very great saving especially on feeds to the farmers. So pig AI is in the pipeline. Farmers uh, should be ready for it. 
and uh, we move on. On the side of North Eastern, we are looking at the camel, how we can be able to look at the camel. And uh, we do AI in camel and uh, see how the, 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 those arid areas can be able to, to benefit. What we have done really is to uh, enter into some strategic partnerships and alliances with the, the best out there so that we bring in even new technology like um, what we call uh, sexed semen. That is when you get uh, the uh, semen that can tell a farmer that as you inseminate your animal, you are either getting a male or female calf. And that is what farmers want. They, because we want to produce especially more of uh, milk, so they want more of heifers. We would want to assure stakeholders because sometimes farmers um, look at uh, cement that comes from outside the country and think that it is better than the one that is uh, produced locally. And we want to assure them that the selection of the bulls that is done here meets international standards. The center maintains 104 high-quality breeding bulls of six different breeds of cattle for semen production, namely Freshen, Asha, Jazi, Gansi, Sahiwal, and Boran. The bulls are recruited to the center at one month old through a rigorous process. The process starts by the Genetic Advisory Committee identifying farms with good breed of dairy cattle. Kagrik, through Genetic Advisory Committee, select the best cows and put them into a contract to breed bull calves for the center. When we identify the cows and allocate the semen, we enter into a contract with the farmer in that you will use that semen to the specified cows and when cows conceive and take the pregnancy of term and they calf after nine months, the farmer will notify us if the calf born is a bull calf or a heifer. If it is a bull calf, it's what we bring to the center after examination and ensuring that it meets the, the it has the right the right conformation and all the traits for a good breeding bull. Kagrik as a quarantine station has put up measures to ensure that the bulls are free from diseases. The first thing that we normally do is to limit the number of people who get into the station, especially towards the, where we keep the animals, so we restrict. Apart from on, only those people who work in the, in the bull range are the ones who are supposed to come to go to the bull range. Secondly, any visitor coming in has to pass through Magandi. Magandi and uh, any vehicle that is coming in, especially the ones that are bringing in the, in the orders. Now, it has to be thoroughly washed. The center ensures that the bulls are properly fed with good quality pasture or hay and supplemental feed for them to produce quality semen. The center grows hay on its 100 acres. Our production from these fields uh, only cut us for about 50% of the hay requirements. We outsource the other 50% of the hay requirements from clean farms. And what do I mean by clean farms? These are areas whereby that have been certified to be disease free by the area veterinary officers. Vaccinations against diseases like foot and mouth, blackwater anthrax, lumpy skin and rift valley fever are carried out from time to time to prevent the bulls from contracting these diseases. Sampling of the bulls is also done annually where blood samples from the bulls are taken to the veterinary laboratories to be tested for breeding diseases. When the bulls are confirmed to be clean from diseases, they are ready for semen collection. The bulls come in early in the morning at around 6.30 for cleaning and uh, the bulls are cleaned and paraded for semen collection. At that time, the teaser is normally ready prepared. We ensure that the bull to be from whom the semen is collected, it must have an apron which you'll appreciate from the photos is color is green in color 
to avoid getting the bull dirty when it be, when it's uh, being collected the semen. Yeah, so a technician from the lab collects the semen using the artificial vagina, which we normally call the AV. You realize the environment under which the semen is being collected. These are these are mattress. These are rubber mattress where now the bull steps on. The, mount, the mattress allows for, provides comfort when the bull is dis, dismounting to avoid snapping of the tendons. Yeah, so we are also ensuring the safety of the bull at the end of the day. The sahiwal, um, these are the beef and the dual purpose. We collect semen differently compared to the dairy breeds. Eh? We normally use the electro ejaculator. So ideally we introduce the rectal probe into the rectum of the bull to sensitize the seminal vesicles. By introduction of the current, it sensitizes and causes the ejaculation process to take place. Once the semen is collected, the irreversible edging of the spermatozoa begins. It is important to work as rapidly and effectively to extend the life of the spermatozoa. In the laboratory, protective clothing is used to avoid any contamination of the semen. At the collection point, the vet records the name of the bull, the volume and the time of the semen collection. Microscopic evaluation is then done to check on the color, volume and smell. If the semen is contaminated, it is discarded at this point. The semen that meets the microscopic evaluation proceeds for the microscopic evaluation process. We also do progressive motility. We are focusing on progressively motile and morphologically normal cells. So that parameter requires that the semen should have 70% and above. Once the semen has been evaluated at that level and it has been found to have 70% and above progressive motility, we normally extend the semen with the, a diluent or extender. The diluent also tends to expand the volume of the semen. That's why it's called an extender. So ideally, from an ejaculate, we can make between 200 to, to about 700 doses. Once the semen has been cleared and it has been found to be above 70, it goes for chilling at the cold room. All this time round, we are gradually dropping the temperature. At the point where we are adding the diluent, the temperature drops to 26 from 38 degrees when the vet was evaluating. So at the evaluation, it was 38 degrees. At the point of dilution, it goes to 26 degrees. Then it goes to the cold room where it goes for equilibration at 4 degrees to 4 degrees. So we are lowering the temperature from 26 now to 4 degrees. And it, it's a process that takes between three to four hours. After the equilibrium process in the cold room, the semen is filled using the MX4 machine, which fills the straw with semen, seals and prints them. The semen goes for freezing in the automated freezing cabinet, which can hold up to 3,000 doses. The freezing process reduces from 4 degrees to negative 120 degrees. At this point, the semen is now at an active stage and can be transferred into the liquid nitrogen at negative 196 degrees awaiting quality assurance. The semen that is 50% and above is stored in liquid nitrogen tanks ready for distribution. We have agents scattered all over the country. Right now we have 62 agents. We sell our products through those agents. Our major products here, of course, is semen. Uh, from, the, from the labs, the agents make orders to us and then we dispatch our vehicles uh, to supply our agents with the semen. The agents are able to send now the semen to sell it to the AI service providers who are actually the actual people in contact with the farmers. Cagric has plans to start semen production for poultry, goats, pigs and camels to enhance the quality of their breed. Cagric is a key important state cooperation 
because breeding of livestock is critical for food security and as a foundation for food security you need to have the right animals in the right places with this climate change you cannot afford to have animals that cannot survive what i can assure our farmers is that kagrik semen is of high quality it's rig our bulls are rigorously uh, selected from international champions so our bull the bulls that we have here are of superior quality and uh, we pack quite we, we pack more semen spermatozoa compared to the other players in the industry so that to ensure that uh, the chances of conception are higher so when they think milk they think kagrik Watch more agricultural documentaries at www.youtube.com forward slash AIRC video unit.